when we made it to Zion, I lucked out. Uh, they weren't letting any of the cars in. Fortunately, I had a bike, so he let me in. I didn't think I was going to be allowed. What's up everyone? It's Clutch here from the Sodak Motorcycle Blog. How's everyone doing today? Today, we're here for another edition of My Favorite Rides. Today, today's edition of My Favorite Rides, we are in Zion National Park. Today's date is May 28th. And it's about 11.30 in the morning, local time. And the reason I say that is, I got lucky this morning. And uh, I actually got let into the park. They let me through because I was a bike. Which was quite nice of them. As I say that because, well, this is a park you have to get here early. Because otherwise you don't get in the park. Like not even to ride through. Like they were turning everyone around. Fortunately I don't know how I. <laughs> I don't know how I lucked out on that. But uh, they let me in. So I decided to uh, go to the visitor center. Get myself a sticker. Because the helmet needed a new sticker. But anyways let's get this going huh. So with the, yeah, one thing was Zion, especially if you're here in your car, get here early. I'd say period, get here early. Because it's not, I mean, today is the day before Memorial Day weekend starts. So it is Friday, but I'm telling you, you have to get to this park very early. Otherwise, you're probably not going to get in. Which is fine, I mean, you can still see a park. It's just, uh... You're not going to see it in your on your bike or in your car, that's for sure. And they do have a shuttle bus. Now that fills up quickly too. So you kind of, like I said, you got to get here early. If you don't get here early, like I said, you're not going to have the park experience that you want. And honestly, that's kind of going... That's kind of how it is anywhere, any, any of these national parks anymore, especially the popular ones. Is they're just, they're, they're running into the issue of, it's too full. There's too much traffic, the parks are getting too full. And it's happened to all in the national parks, not just Zion. It's happening to, it's happening in Yellowstone. I mean, there's so, the Mirror Woods in California, you already have to go online beforehand and buy your pass to get in. Like, you get into a certain time of day, they'll let you in, and that's, that's it. And that's just the way it is. I mean, I know some maybe might complain that, oh, you know what, you know, they're being, you know, it's not fair or whatever. Well, guess what? Life isn't fair. Get used to it. Now, it ain't going to be that hard for you to get your rear end up early and go out. Now, if you stay in, like, say, uh, St. George, something like that, you're not terribly far away. Okay, yeah, you can get up a little later, but if you stay in Vegas, and bear this in mind too, Vegas is an hour behind Zion. So if you want to be at Zion by 6 o'clock in the morning, you're in Vegas, well, you better be up at, you better be running, leaving Vegas by 3.30 in the morning Pacific time. Or no. Yeah. No, 2.30 in the morning. Yeah. 
because it's about two hours to get here from Vegas I know because I drove it up this morning <laughs> so two hours from Vegas to get here you want to get here at six in the morning guess what that's four in the morning mountain time which is three in the morning in Vegas which means yep two thirty in the morning so I don't know, make a night of it. Stay up all night, get drunk all night, and then to have your sober driver drive you up here. I mean, they're probably not going to let you in because you're hammered, but, you know, maybe. Oh, man, what a beautiful, like, first of all, over here, man, holy crud. Holy, holy, holy crud, wow. That is so beautiful. For all that pain that, and, and frustration you got to go through to get here, let me tell you, the payoff is wonderful. Oh, wow. I mean, just wow. <laughs> Gosh. What a view, guys. And this van behind me is probably thinks, ah, oh, what that weirdo up there videotaping that there there. Yep, I am. And I just stuck my foot off my bike just to zip up a pocket, so I'm doing a lot of stuff wrong. Oh man, guys. The camera does not do this justice, I'm telling you this. And you kind of know that going into places like that. In fact, that's what you're always hoping for. There's two places I know of that the camera does a whole lot more justice than it deserves. That's Mount Rushmore and the White House. And it has nothing to do with who's in the damn White House. I'm just, I'm telling you, you go, you go stand on the north side of, is it Pennsylvania, whatever the avenue is in front of the White House on the north side, because you can't get anywhere close on the south side. But uh, you stand on that side and the White House don't look like much. I mean, they make it look a whole lot bigger than it is in the movies. Like, I I mean, I understand Independence Day, why the uh, aliens would, would uh, put their ship right over the top of it. Just because, yeah, that's where the president lives. But if not for that, that is not the building in Washington you'd want to destroy. Like, I'm telling you, Congress... Congress is, that's, that's a building that the camera does not do justice to. Washington Monument, same thing. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I can't go that way. Yeah, that's the route. Yep, I can't go that way. That is the one you got to have a shuttle to go down. Unless it's like a certain time of year, so. But that's okay, we're gonna enjoy this. <sighs> oh my God, guys. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Holy crap. This is so flip. Oh my God! The car. There's cars up there. Holy! There's switch. Look at those switchbacks. <laughs> oh my God! This place is gonna be awesome. Oh wow. Oh 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 wow. Wow. <laughs> Jeez. This is so beautiful. Oh my God. I'm telling you, the hassle is absolutely worth it in this place. Oh, oh man. God. Wow. All right, let's keep rolling. It's definitely warm here. We're sitting in the mid 80s. It's a hot place. So plan accordingly. If you're doing some walking, make sure you got some water. Because it's warm.
That dude that does all the narrations for uh, the the PBS specials about like national parks and everything else, man. It feels like the T should like like I hear his voice in my head right now telling me about this place. If you got pedal bikes, you know, it'd be probably might be a good idea to bring your pedal bikes here. That's definitely a place where you could do some pedal biking. I bet the view behind me is incredible too. Definitely a park where you want to keep your RPMs up, especially if you got an air-cooled engine. You might be hearing the uh, fan kicking in in the background on this. And you notice my temps running a little warmer than usual, a little over half, but that's usually kind of how it goes in a place like this. So yeah, keep your RPMs higher here. Okay, that was a cool little curve right there. Okay, I'm still running, good. That's a tunnel right there. Huh. That's interesting. Now this is just the main road through the park. Like I said, there was that other turnoff up there. But you can only go down that part when it's uh, like middle of winter. When the crowds are lower. Otherwise, for the most part, during I think it, I think for March to like uh, December now, they have you have to run. You can't go that um, the scenic drive is what it's called. You can't do the scenic drive, which and I've heard it's great. Which that's crazy to me because this is a pretty damn scenic drive as well. We're damn near to the top of it now.
they have big kicks here get here early be prepared to not get in and I mean early like I'd say get here it's get here by six and you can buy your bus passes ahead of time if you want to take the scenic drive I'd get here way early yeah and get in as soon as you can buy passes like I think most of them you can buy passes 90 days out if you kind of know you're coming buy the passes because I think the passes are like eight bucks or something which in the end you know what if your plans fall through guess what no big deal it's eight bucks you're out all right we're coming up on the tunnel now this is where we gotta wait Yep, okay. So yeah, what they're doing is they're working on the tunnel up here, so that's why the weight. Oh man. <laughs> well, this is uh, creepy. Huh. <laughs> it is pitch black in here. <laughs> oh man, that is cool. <laughs> pitch, pitch black. <laughs> I'm not, I was not, I was not expecting that. Oh, that's where that little hole is. Yep. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Holy freaking creepy, dude. Another view. <laughs> okay this is probably one of the creepiest things I've done on a bike this is so flipping awesome dude can you imagine doing this at night by yourself <laughs> oh man that's the only light is that It is nice and cool in here though. I like that. That's kind of a nice little break. Oh my god, Jess from her two wheels will be in here just having a time of her life just straddling the the, the bejesus is out of that dyna. Just another little added cool factor of this tunnel. <laughs> wow. And now we are out. And even more cool stuff here. <laughs> wow, it's still awesome parts. My God, this is a this park is totally worth it, man. I'm telling you, you need to get the Zion right now if you can. I'll, I feel terrible that my wife is not here with me right now. Like I, I, I feel quite bad that my wife is not here with me right now. Like she is missing an awesome ride, but that's okay. It gives us an excuse to come back. Wow, so fucking cool, dude. Oh man. What a flipping ride, dude. What a what a park. What a park. And this ain't even the scenic route. <laughs> God, this is so cool. So cool.
Wow. <laughs> Yeah, I know you're probably getting sick of me saying wow, but guess what? You're going to have to deal with it. I'm a wow guy. That, that video of me and the Tetons last year. Dark tunnel. Well, obviously, if it's like that other one, yeah. I will say this much about um, the park only letting you you know bus on the one part and closing down when the parking lots are full it makes for a lot less traffic in the park which is nice makes for a little better ride a little bit better presentation for you guys too I don't know what else I can say. I really don't. Other than this is a great park and you should come visit it. That I mean that's it. That's all I that's all I have to say. I'm kind of speechless. <laughs> like like I'm just at loss for words. <laughs> Wow.
my god it just keeps getting cooler and cooler what amazes me is how like polished all this looks like like that's what's crazy about this like these hill like they're not like they're so like polished Like it almost looks like someone took a giant massive grinder and took a grinder to the side of it to smooth it out a little bit. Like, and this is natural. That's what's crazy. This is natural. God. I mean, man. Like I could just picture someone with a massive grinder up along the side of that grinding it to smooth it out. That's what it looks like. And even more so over here. My God, I've never seen that. Is just crazy, huh? Nature's a powerful thing, man. Nature's a hell of a craftsman. Hopefully I wasn't speeding. I guess we'll find out. Hopefully I wasn't. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. <laughs> it's crazy. They didn't even look at my pass. They just let me. I said, do you need to see my pass? They're like, nah, we're good. Of course, they probably figured I had, you know, I had it in my hand, so. Man. This is the checkerboard Mesa viewpoint. Huh. Let's pause. Right here, this. my friends. This is checkerboard Mesa. And well, it's God's name because well you can see those little lines look like little boxes on a checkerboard. And this is a checkerboard mesa pullout. Gosh. I mean, just a beautiful view. And I parked way over there, not realizing the sign was here, so I feel like kind of a dork, but hey, whatever. This is my favorite rides from Zion National Park. That is just so awesome and cool. It's amazing what Mother Nature can do. Huh. Well, guys, yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh my gosh, that's the exit of the park. Well, that was fast. Well, there we go. Hope you liked it, because you ain't getting back in. I'm t 
telling you guys, you got to get here early. Absolutely have to get here early. Because if you don't, guess what? You ain't getting in. Actually, I'm going to leave this on for a little bit and keep going. I should have, well. That's about how long the line is, so. Well. That's it, people. That was Zion National Park for my favorite rides. Great, awesome park. Pretty cool views. Uh, pretty cool. Lec legendary epic views. Let's put it that way. Because, oh my gosh, is it was it beautiful. Yep. Absolutely beautiful. The Zion National Park sign, yep. Very nice. Actually, I'm going to dry. Ah. Screw it. I'm going to make a U-turn and I'm going to go take a picture there. But Once again, for my favorite rides, this is Clutch signing off. Well, and there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Another banging video here from the Stodak Motorcycle Vlog. Or maybe you think it sucks. I don't know. Whatever. But anyways, I got more where that come from. I got three videos popping up on that screen right about now. So, and there's a various assortment of what's on there. So, hopefully I find there's a video you like that's on there. Um, if you already know you want to and you've already made it through this video, go ahead and click the subscribe button here on the bottom right. And if you're not convinced, check out those three videos and then hit subscribe.